Hi, I'm Roxanne Karn. I'm a personal stylist. I'm so excited to show you my wardrobe today. I just moved into this new space about six months ago and been dying to give an update of what my closet looks like and how it's organized. It's also really, really timely. The pandemic put things on pause for a lot of women in terms of their image, in terms of their own brand, in terms of their style. You're getting into a space where you perhaps are not caring about what you're wearing anymore or you're not caring the best you can for your clothing. I'm hoping that when I give you the tour of my closet today, that it provides some inspiration on how to organize your clothes well so that you can actually utilize what you already own and style what you have. Tapping into great pieces that you already have that give you both that special blend of professionalism, yet kind of casual pool and most of all comfort is super, super important. The outfit that I have on right now is really just kind of comprised of three key pieces. I've got my fun, comfortable joggers on, one of my favorite t-shirts, and then this jacket that actually has a kind of a hoodie feel dicky underneath. It's just the perfect combination for me for what I need today of that casual, chic comfort. <laughs> So when it comes to my wardrobe, it's again super important for me that everything is organized so I can clearly see what I'm working with or if I'm in a particular mood and I'm gravitating to one particular style, I don't have to go digging for it. So let me just show you briefly what that actually looks like. So on my top rack here, I have pretty much all of my tops. It's important for me to have things merchandised and what that basically means is I am batching like pieces together. So over here on my left, I have all of my sleeveless tops and then they gradually go into long sleeves tops. Then I've got my knits, I've got my structured collared shirts and then my fun jackets. I live in this space a lot, work leisure and working from home. A lot of my meetings with clients, they're in person, but I have a lot of meetings in business meetings via Zoom. So having something that looks great on top is super, super important to me and it should be to you too. And then down below, I've got all of my skirts merchandised and organized by basically skirt length and jeans, got all my, my blue jeans here. I again, live in this space. And then I have my trouser pants and back here is where I have kind of my black jeans and my black leggings. I actually have an outfit here that I, quickly pulled together last week and I, it was a day that I was actually working from home and it's just this simple beautiful v-neck knit with a slightly embellished shoulder and sleeve and these army green satin joggers and I wore this and was really in my zoom meetings like almost all the time all day even though no one actually saw the bottom half I felt amazing and I had cute shoes on too. When you have your closet arranged in such a way that you can clearly see what you have, that piece, I promise, is going to pop out at you and you're gonna be like, you know what, that's it. I'm wearing this jacket with this t-shirt, with these jeans or jeggings, skirt, whatever it is, and you're gonna rock that look for the day. Okay, so now I want to show you my dresses, which I have a lot of. And something that I wanted to point out too is that I've got a lot of clothes, but it doesn't look disorganized, again, because of the way I have everything laid out. And I will say that having slim line hangers make a big, big difference because they don't take a lot of space. And when you have everything on these hangers, it looks uniform and it just looks like you have your own boutique. Here on my far right, I have strapless, sleeveless dresses, which for which you see I have quite a bit of. And then I get into pieces that have longer sleeves. For the most part, my longer dresses are back here. This, this is where more kind of semi-formal and formal dresses are. The thing I love about wearing dresses, especially for work leisure, is that it's one and done. Your dress is 
on and it's ready to go. Just because you're working from home does not mean that you cannot rock a great dress from behind the computer sitting at your desk on that Zoom call. So the next part of my closet that I wanna introduce you to are my shoes. Having your shoes on display just makes it so much easier for you to style your looks whenever possible. So I've got these amazing slides that I can just pull out. I for the most part, have like shoes together. So I have my pumps kind of all hanging out over here. Boots for the season that I wear a lot, I keep up top. There are some times where I don't wanna be in a heel. So I have all of my flats kind of arranged here. Ankle booties down here, and also kind of more stylish booties down here as well. And it's just really kind of fun to see because when you're styling an outfit, sometimes start with the shoe. Pick a great shoe and then create a whole new outfit around that. Have the shoe be the statement piece. So not everything that I wear is on a hanger. I do have pieces that are knits that are folded. I really love this closet system that I have here because I have drawers that pull out. My kind of work leisure bottom half pieces live in this space. Also just right behind me, I have this hanging canvas shelf where my thicker sweaters get folded. And again, I can see everything that I own easily accessible. So just above the drawer area here is where I have my purses housed. These are where my, my purses live, my handbags. I'm a big top handle handbag fan. For pieces that I wear a lot, I will leave them outside of a duster, but other pieces that are more my of my luxury handbags or ones that I just don't want to get, you know, just any damage from dust or moisture or, or things like that, I do keep them in their duster bag. But again, it's accessible. If you are lucky enough to have a closet that's got some height, I would recommend use that space. For pieces that you're not using every single day, put those on the higher shelves and they still can be accessible by a step stool, for example, right? But you wanna take advantage of that space. That's the storage right there for, for your purses or for pieces that you don't wear every single day. Let's talk accessories. So I have these amazing stackables that are velvet lined, so it's really got that nice luxe finish. Accessories are so important now more than ever when it comes to work leisure, because when you're on that Zoom, you know, you may have a plain t-shirt on, but you can jazz it up with a statement necklace. And it's not, you know, not hard to do, and it will look great on camera. So right now, if you have your jewelry hidden away somewhere, get these stackables, get them out, get them in front of you and start styling them. So a lot of what you've seen in my closet today was centered on pieces that we can visibly see, pieces that weren't hangers or folded in my pullout drawers. But then what about pieces that maybe are sentimental or pieces that you don't wear every day but still need storage for them? That's where I really love using kind of luxe garment boxes. So when I get a handbag and it comes in an amazing box, I don't throw that box away. I repurpose it to store my most prized possessions or again, pieces that I'm just not cycling through every day. This is really a nice alternative to the slide out rack because these are stackable. They don't take a lot of space, but the key is, is that you can see what's inside through the plastic window. It does have a magnetic closure with just a little ribbon loop that you can easily open and close. Put your shoes in there, close it up, and then boom, you can see exactly what you're working with. When it comes to shoes, particularly boots, you can actually use these storage canvas bags to store your boots in. I love using these because this is a great way to keep them protected and also 
these have a window so you can see which boots they are as well. So one thing that I was so excited about when we moved into this house was that I was able to convert one of the bedrooms to be my wardrobe. It's been a dream of mine for years. I'm really looking to maximize space, to have things looking really organized and just really pretty. So we decided to put together this island which is amazing because it gives me even more storage. What I really love about the island too is that I have an actual workspace. So when I am figuring out what jewelry I wanna wear for the day or laying pieces out or even from when I'm packing for travel. So if you have the space to maybe install your own island and create a dedicated space where you can you know, just take care of your styling business. I would highly, highly recommend it. This is one of my favorite areas of the closet. I hope you enjoyed the tour of my new and updated wardrobe. What I wanted for you today was really just to get inspiration on how you can carefully, cleanly, and easily organize your closet so you can see what you have and get the most mileage out of your wardrobe. Until next time, bye for now. Thank you.